And that is a knee adjustment for people that are really flat footed, they rotate their knee in and all we did was adjust the tibial head from posterior to anterior. Hello, Dr. David Cullah here with Synergy Wellness Chiropractic and Physical Therapy. Today we have Lucy here who um, we're not going to get into all the different things, uh, problems that she's come in here for because there's several, right? Uh, many of which we've resolved, but some of which we have not. Now, the one of the last remaining uh, sort of Achilles heel uh, conditions or issues that she has is her, she gets uh, tendonitis in the heel and then in the uh, uh, posterior tibial tendonitis and um, she gets knee pain. And it's because she's flat footed. We ran a scan on her feet and we found that she has uh, all three arches are collapsed. So yes, you have three arches in your feet. And if your feet are flat and you're walking around on them, especially people that live in New York that walk much more than the rest of the country, that's gonna cause not only plantar fasciitis in the bottom of the foot, but it's gonna start to cause knee and hip and lower back pain. And today, I was a little rough on her. Um, I said she needs to get orthotics. She really does. They're a little pricey, but you can find, um, if you go to footlevelers.com, they have different practitioners that have their scanners and the foot levelers orthotics typically typically run below $300 and they offer specials and you'll have them for years and the money is worth it because it's gonna save you from a lot of issues. Now, if she's flat footed, what happens? When she becomes flat footed, she rotates her knee in, okay, that automatically happens. And then when the knee rotates in, like that, you're starting to put pressure on the medial meniscus and other parts of the knee. And then you're causing anterior pelvic tilt. So that causes people to get really tight glutes and you know how you get those really tender spots here on the top of the butt? That's why, because your pelvis is tilted forward. So we're gonna show you how we adjust her knee, okay? And we did this once before. And how did you do with the first knee adjustment? A lot good, a lot better. A lot better, okay. And um, where are you at now? You said I think 60% today? Yeah. So it was about 40% helpful, that one adjustment. Yeah. So I told her typically we have to do two or three adjustments, but if she keeps walking around with these flat feet, I'm gonna be adjusting her knee so the cows come home and it's not gonna fix it until she fixes the feet, the arches, the flat arches in the feet. So we're gonna adjust her knee today to give her some relief, but ultimately she does need to get orthotics and she'll get those in due time. Okay. We typically do three drops here. Okay. Now we're gonna pull this out. Good, and I'm gonna have you turn over on your back. And we also adjusted her ankle. Um, we did that before we turned the camera on, but uh, we adjusted this left ankle when we dorsiflexed her feet, her left ankle was not dorsiflexing as much and it's it's off again so we're going to go ahead and just do a light adjustment here on the ankle okay and that is a knee adjustment for people that are really flat footed they rotate their knee in and all we did was adjust the tibial head from posterior to anterior for her i'm not saying to try that at home don't do this at home on yourself, please. Thanks for tubing in.